Hi, this is Tom Searcy with 1% Difference, and this week I want to ask the question, are you customer-centric or are you competitor-centric? You know, too often we try to read the market. Prices, features, product releases, uh, the market messaging, what people are going to like by watching our competitors. Let's be honest, if you don't believe me, go read three of your competitors' websites and then read your own com uh, website. It's going to be a little disappointing. We all sound like we're chew chewing the same food. But the fact of the matter is if you want to be a leader in the market, if you want to show leadership rather than followership, you have to start with a balance of what you understand about the customers and the customer's market. See, the thing about it is, is how you will shape what you offer to the marketplace should not be shaped by how your competitors are, are messaging things, what information they're showing, but, but what your needs of your customers are. And the only way to do that is to dive deep into your customers. So here's the things I want you to do. First and foremost, I want you to install a regular quarterly business review to dig out what is coming in the future for your customers. It's interesting. We think that we know. We've got inside salespeople and outside salespeople and customer service people that are talking to our customers all the time. But we don't ask the real deep diving questions. We ask the transactional questions. Uh, how can I better serve you? Uh, what additional products do you have or that, you, that we could go ahead and offer to you? Did you get your order on time? And so on. This is all transactional data today where we are now, but it's not reaching forward to the future. So you need to install a deep dive quarterly business review to dig out what is coming for them. Secondly, I want you to ask several forward looking questions of your customers. So here's a couple of them. I want you to write them down. Number one, what do you see as the challenge to the industry you're in in the next 12 months? Number two, what will be the big obstacle to hitting your goals in the next 12 months inside of your company? And number three, what will be the big accelerator of blowing your goals away? These three questions, as asked to executives inside of your customer base, will change the perspective of what's going on and will focus your offers on what they're trying to do in their future, their goals, and align you up, rather than looking at your competitors who may or may not be asking those questions. All right, third thing, always look to the measures rather than the platitudes and the generalities. Specifically, you have key performance indicators that you should be working against with your customers. There's certain commitments that were made. So look at those measures rather than saying, how are things going? Are you happy? Would you recommend us to someone else? I'm going to tell you right now, I have seen more people who say, I would recommend you to someone else and then find out within two to three months that their contract was canceled. Why was it canceled? Because their client was very, very happy with what they were getting today. Unfortunately. They had a sense that they had outgrown their provider. And so when it came time to renew the contract or to be outsold by a competitor, they lost. Asking questions around platitudes and generalities today doesn't tell you whether you're going to win in the future. And finally, I want you to focus on concentric circles with your client. When you are investigating their needs and being customer centric, start with the industry that they are in first. Then look at their market then look at their competitors, then look at their company, and finally, look at your individual buyer's areas of responsibility. By being able to focus on those concentric circles with your client, you will be lining up specifically around a customer-centric model. And from that, you can have leadership rather than followership. Until the next chance that we have to talk, go out and make the 1% difference. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell, and that way we'll let you know every time there are new videos that are out there. And you can also visit our website below.